Alright, what is up you guys? I'm here with part 6 of the SummerSlam Complete Anthology Review. This time we're going over to Volume 2. I'm going to be taking a look at 1993. Now, a lot of people are critical of this event, I know that. But, we'll get into that more once we look at the listing. You can see we have all the posters here, which is really nice. So, really cool that they did that. But, let's take a look at 1993. Alright. So, this time we have a blue disc. Kind of a light sky blue, as opposed to the green disc that we had last time. So, 1993, full into the new generation era, following WrestleMania 9. So the original main event was supposed to be Bret Hart versus Hulk Hogan. That was what was originally intended. Obviously, things changed. So, what we have here, we have the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase versus Razor Ramon. And then we have the SummerSlam Hotline. We have interviews with the members of the Steiner family. And then we have the Steiner Brothers versus the Heavenly Bodies for the World Tag Team titles. We have an interview with Shawn Michaels with Diesel. And then we have for the Intercontinental Championship, Shawn Michaels versus Mr. Perfect. We have IRS versus the 123 Kid. We have an interview with Bruce and Owen Hart. And of course we have Bret Hart versus Jerry the King Lawler. More SummerSlam Hotline. And then we have Ludwig Borga bashes the United States. And then we have Marty Jannetty versus Ludwig Borga. Then we have a Rest in Peace match. Undertaker versus Giant Gonzalez. Of course, the WrestleMania 9 rematch there. Joe Fowler interviews Jim Cornette with Yokozuna and Mr. Fuji. Gotta love Corny. And then we have the Smoking Guns and Tatanka versus the Head Shrinkers and Bam Bam Bigelow in a six-man tag match. And then finally, for the WWE Championship, we have Yokozuna versus Lex Luger in your main event. Now, as you can see from the card, it's not the best. Um, I don't think it's nearly as bad as some of the years that followed. That's just my opinion. Uh, I think it's kind of a weak main event. I was never the biggest Lex Luger fan. I just personally never was. And, you know, of course, that'll be a match revisited at WrestleMania 10 the following year. But let me know overall what you thought of this event. I'm curious and interested in hearing your opinions. You know, the new generation era, not my favorite era. You know, I love the golden Hulkamania era. And to me, the new generation era, you know, you had your gems. You had Shawn Michaels, you had Bret Hart. Uh, you it is what it is, you know. You had your gems, but it was kind of just a transition from Hulkamania era, the Golden Era, to the Attitude Era. In my opinion, that's kind of what it was. It was just a transition. So, let me know what you thought of this event. And for now, this has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.